Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Immigrants and asylum seekers don't steal jobs. They create jobs. Immigrants and asylum seekers buy groceries, they rent homes, they buy cars, they buy gas, they buy clothes, they buy toys, they buy school supplies, they buy work supplies, and so on. And the consumption of all those services increases demand, which increases jobs. Sure, immigrants and asylum seekers will fill existing jobs, but their presence results in a net increase in jobs, not a net decrease. And of course, there might be some immigrants and some asylum seekers who won't work. But I'd love someone to provide evidence that it'll be at a rate higher than those who were born in the country where they're living. In fact, a 2017 report from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics states the unemployment rate for foreign-born persons in the United States was 4.1% in 2017, down from 4.3% in 2016. The jobless rate of native-born persons was 4.4% in 2017, down from 5.0% in 2016. Technically, people born outside the United States are more likely to hold a job than those born within it. As well, according to the same report, people born outside of the United States but then work in the United States are more likely than those born inside of it to work in jobs in the healthcare support, food prep, building and grounds cleaning and maintenance, personal care and service, farming, construction, production, and transportation fields. Basically, the jobs those born within the United States don't want to do. If you like this video and agree with the points that I raise, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. I keep getting thumbs up but no comments. If you disagree with the points I raise in my video, give me a thumbs down and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to talking to you again soon.